Whether you drink whiskey or not, you've probably heard about Pappy Van Winkle bourbon. The Van Winkle brand is home to six different whiskeys, five bourbons and one rye, and then sometimes one 25-year-old Van Winkle. The cheapest Pappy being $70 at MSRP and the most expensive being $300 at MSRP, but you will almost never find them at these prices. And I'll tell you why. Pappy Van Winkle has become the most famous, highly sought after whiskey brand ever in the history of mankind. The namesake of this brand, Pappy, began working at W.L. Weller & Sons way back in 1893 as a traveling salesman. Pappy and a coworker merged W.L. Weller & Sons with a brand called A.P.H. Stitzel Distillery. Now calling themselves Stitzel Weller, they opened in 1935 on Derby Day. Their weeded bourbon quickly became popular. Pappy would make whiskey there under the mantra, we make fine bourbon at a profit if we can, at a loss if we must, but always fine bourbon. He passed away at the age of 91 in 1965. His son would take over at Stitzel Weller, but due to the whiskey depression, they had to sell in 1972. But Julian Jr. always kept bottling on the side just in case his son, Julian Van Winkle III, wanted to be in the whiskey business. So he started Old Rip Van Winkle brand. And so in 1981, Julian Van Winkle III took over the Old Rip Van Winkle brand. And he made whiskey with the same intention as his grandfather. We make fine bourbon, at a profit if we can, at a loss if we must, but always fine bourbon. In 1992, Stitzel Weller, the source of Julian's brown elixir, would stop producing whiskey. This is important in a minute. In 1994, Julian had old enough whiskey to sell a 20-year-old bourbon with a picture of his pappy on it. Then, in 1998, his bourbon scored an unprecedented 99 at the World Spirits Competition, thrusting the old Rip Van Winkle brand to the top. At the top of the world, Julian had a problem. He was running out of his Stitzel Weller barrels and would need to think of the future of the old Rip Van Winkle brand. So, in 2002, Buffalo Trace took over producing the pappy whiskeys. The next 10 years, it made its mark as a consistent whiskey of quality. In a 2012 episode of The Layover, Anthony Bourdain said, if God made bourbon, this is what he'd make, referring to his glass of Pappy Van Winkle. Since this quote from Bourdain, the rise of Facebook groups, bourbon hunters, and the secondary market, whiskey blew up. Julian has increased production with his Buffalo Trace partnership, but remains conservative to maintain the highest quality premium bourbon possible. And that's why, if you're able to give Pappy a try, it will always be fine bourbon.